Uh, which part of California do you live? <laughs> oh, I'm in um, right outside. I'm in Los. I mean Santa Monica, actually. So right outside of Santa Monica area. Nice, nice. Closer nice. towards the, closer towards the ocean. I like to be near the the water. Okay, great. Yeah. Um, I actually I was a film major, but um, but uh, actually I I never get into Hollywood. That's why uh, I'm so admired that people can get. <laughs> well, where are you based out of? Uh, I'm in New York, Brooklyn, right now. Oh, right on. Yeah. <laughs> cool. I love New York. Oh yeah, this is is really good for artists. The art thing is really good. Yeah, yeah, for sure, hundred percent. Yeah, um, I, I'm really curious about uh, what you do. Uh, you can introduce yourself, your name, your project, and um, how did you get into the NFT space from the traditional uh, film industry, perhaps? Um, well, I my name is Matteo Santoro. I'm a director, visual effects artist. Um, I've been working VFX since around 2007. I was on movies like X-Men, Incredible Hulk, 300, Iron Man, Avatar, um, designing alien planets and weird creatures, doing concept art. I also did 3D animation, uh, you know, compositing, map painting, stuff like that. Um, and then I transitioned into doing more of my own stuff uh, outside of just uh, working on other movies. I really wanted to work on my own thing. And I, I put together uh, a series of uh, science fiction shorts that I, I released online a while ago that kind of, uh, I guess, went viral. They were called, It was called Offline. I'll send you the link to that. But that was one of the first things I made that opened the door for me that then I got me like representation and some recognition as a director, kind of kickstarted everything. And then I shot my first movie about six years ago, five or six years ago. It's on Hulu and Amazon Prime. It's called Higher Power. It's a sci indie sci-fi film. Um, uh, yeah, I mean, that one was pretty tricky because we had a very small budget. and uh, But it was my first movie, and I get, ended up getting distribution, which was great. You know, Magnolia Films picked it up, so it was an indie movie that got picked up. We got some, uh, like, uh, you know, we got a DVD and a Blu-ray and all that stuff, which is really exciting when you're trying to, you know, trying to make your own thing. Um, and then I I got to that point where I was going to work on my second feature and I started developing this idea that I had and I knew that it was like a, you know, a, a bigger, uh, it's a it's a big kind of world building project, you know, and and uh, inside the studio system, if you have uh, an original IP, like an intellectual property that, um, you know, is not really based off of anything like uh, a comic book or a video game, it's it's more difficult to get those types of things off of the ground because there's no real built in audience for that. Right. And so uh, so I looked at the NFT space as a way to kind of grow an audience around the story I was trying to tell so that I could kind of create a, a, a solid foundation for my project in order to make the, 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 the film. And, and the project's called SIFT, uh, S-I-F-T, and I released my first series for it that I shot last year. And the first series of six, I think it was like the short films, I put them on uh, foundation. They, it all sold out, which was great. And uh, got me, you know, a lot of recognition in the NFT space as being a filmmaker and uh, in exploring the NFT, you know, NFT world. And uh, and now I'm I'm prepping to release my second series from SIF that's going to be happening in January. Um, and I got Paul Oakenfold, who is a Grammy Award winning musician, to do the. Oh yeah, the, I know Paul Oakenfold. Uh, yeah. I used to work for a record company um, when I was in Taiwan. It's actually uh, I I order and I release a global uh, global. <laughs> I remember, um, it's a, like a global EDM DJ, like a mm -hmm. Paul Bai, Paul Oakenfor, um, Sasha, those are the, um, um, so there is I I still own several uh, CDs uh, from. Oh, right on, yeah. So he did the music. He did, he did the musical score for my yeah. project. So it was oh, a cool, wow. cool, cool. Wow. That's yeah. amazing. That's amazing. Yeah. 
so he uh, it was cool because it's a cool uh, an interesting thing to collaborate you know with uh, musicians because musical score scoring in film they they go hand in hand you know it's like they're really important oh, for each other yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. um now yeah. i remember those i released those are com complexion is called a global underground yeah yeah cool yeah, that's right. a, a series of uh, djs uh, so i i do own several uh, paul oakenfold's uh, music um, yeah yeah, that, that's a really great. Um, so how did you uh, know him? Uh, did you know him in person or? Uh... I actually met him at an NFT event, uh, uh, you know, funny enough. And um, he saw the work that I was working on and was really into it and wanted to, to, to collaborate somehow. And I said, well, I got a new one coming out. How about you do the music for it? And he was like, yeah, I, I would love to. So he did it, you know? So when I went over to his house, and we talked about creative and I gave him the the piece that I finished and then he just composed music for me. So it was really, you know, it's, it was pretty, pretty nice to actually have somebody follow through with something because a lot of times you just have people, this is conversations and, you know, to actually get them to do it, you know, he must have been pretty inspired. So that was a great sign and he did it. So. Good. Um, so uh, um, do you prefer a foundation at or other NFT space like OpenSea. I'm doing my next one on Nifty. So I, I, I'm- Nifty Gateway, Nifty, wow, come yeah, I, mean, found, I, I got into foundation earlier. So when like early on, I feel like it was it was uh, a better a better platform, but right now, like the whole space, it's just saturated, right? It's just so hard to like, so, you know, it's like you kind of have to figure a way to separate yourself from the, the herd. Uh, but that's just kind of just the name of the game, I guess, right? Yeah. Yeah. Um. So, um, uh, when do you um, like, how do you go into uh, drop? Like, it's like like all like a different um pieces, like a uh, fractional pieces, or um, is this like a one and one NFT, or is it like a multiple? It's an addition. It's going to be an open edition. Um, it's going to be an, a, lim a limited open edition, so like a window opens, so you can get one when that happens uh, at the end of January. But I want it to be open editions because it's like a move. A movie is a very like it's a community based ticketed experience, right? So like you know, there's a version of it where you can do one of one, but I like the idea of like for the, my first ones were all one of ones. But I like for this one, I want to do an open edition so that more people have an opportunity to to get involved. Do you have uh, any like uh, collaborators or uh, besides the Paul Auken for um, or any um, like, do you have like a big team to work for you or you most probably just a music? I mean, right. I mean, right now, I'm, a lot of it, I'm just doing myself. I mean, I have. Uh, uh, my my director of photography, his name is Dallas Sterling. He's a incredible cinematographer. He he shoots a lot of the stuff I do. So, uh, you know, I definitely owe a lot to him. He's been, uh, you know, he's been my cinema working as a cinematographer with me for a very long time, and we really know each other well and can communicate with each other on set in a mm -hmm. pretty efficient way. And um, I had a, my friend Bruce Mitchell. Uh, uh, conceptual executioner is his name on Instagram. He helped me out with building the pr some of the practical elements for Sift, which is like I had this big robot in the trailer that I'll send to you. Um, that he he helped me build kind of the base skeleton, and then I built all around it. And uh, but having his hand really helps uh, definitely. And um, you know, mostly like. For the most part, it's just like editing, VFX, directing, like building all the costumes. I, I'm in the project as well. Like I star in it, I'm writing it. Uh, I'm kind of just taking all the responsibilities on my own because it's, uh, you know, it's kind of hard to, to, I don't know. It's just, I don't know. It's, it's, it's just like, I like it too. It's really fun. So. Yeah, um, um, I, I watched the trailer, actually. Uh, I think that's your website. 
Um, what type of a camera do you use? It looks like a dolly shot. Um, <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, we use a, a red camera. Uh, so it, it shoots at very high resolution and it feels like film, you know? So it doesn't, it has that, it has that quality. Is yeah, it, it has that quality, yeah. Um, do you do like a lot of after effect or what type of uh, apps or tools do you use? Uh, I use, um, yeah, I do use a lot of After Effects uh, for compositing. I think it's a really powerful program. I've been using that forever. Um, and I use Cinema 4D and Octane Render for a lot of my 3D, although I I know that Unreal and uh, all that stuff would be cool to jump into. I'm just, I just know Cinema 4D so well. So um, I've, I've just been using that. Mm. Um, so what is your, uh, I know right now the, it seems like people feel so anxious, uh, as a creator, or so even artists, uh, even we are not really deal a lot with the, with the cryptos. Um, so what do you think about creators, uh, economy that people talk about it, um, uh, all the time? Well, I mean, it's, it's, <laughs> uh, you know, it's a tricky time right now, right? With the yeah. way the economy is and everything, but... Uh, yeah. That, it doesn't mean you should stop, you know, it's like, I know people were inspired by the idea of, of, of money being there. And, um, and this is kind of like this really cool moment for people to, to dig deep, to try to find a, something to separate yourself, you know, like, I think, I think now is the opportunity to, I mean, especially with like AI coming out and uh, it's just getting so easy to make something look cool that you know, and it's just so over oversaturated that like, I think like now is the time for people to really, uh, you know, artists are going to have to try to build, you know, and, and, and grow as artists to see what they can do to try to separate themselves from the rest of the AI generated, you know, like PFP projects out there that are just push button. And it's just like, I don't know, I feel like the value of things go down when, the actual quality of the work goes down. And when people start to understand that it's just really easy to do that stuff, then obviously it's just like the quality, or the, the value of it's going to go down, you know? And so like with stuff that I'm attracted to is that where you can see that somebody actually like bled for this idea, they really put a lot of work into it and infused their soul into it. And a lot of narrative driven content stuff like movies and because like a computer, like an AI program can't like, I mean, I guess they can write, but you know, like they need to be able to kind of come up with a, a solid story for people to believe in, you know? And I think that like this creator economy is like the time for people to build and, you know, and, and not just kind of fall back on the, Oh, it's bad. You know, it's a bad time, you know, just keep making, you know, look the bear market in the eye and wrestle it to the ground, you know? Yeah, um, I think PFP project, um, from my point of view, I think it's really hard. Yeah. Like as an individual artist, uh, like independent artists or creators, um, you don't need to deal with team. You know, like like in, like a lot of people, they actually they 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 want me to be part of team, but I I feel like. That means the twenty four seven you have to stick on Twitter space or Discord, and right. it's a, like a nonstop talking, nonstop pitch to all the people who believe your project. And also, um, like PFP project is like a pretty, uh, uh, I would say intuitive. Like like even people they don't like your animals or they have their particular preference. That's very right. hard to. Uh, to grow later on. But as an independent artist, like, like I get into the space as an independent artist. I'm self-made entrepreneurs. I used to run web design companies uh, in New York. Um, I, I feel like, like whoever like to buy my NFT, they just like my art, you know, it's just, but if you run PFE project that you have to deal with a lot of people, they, they are like more like a fence. Well, I call that fence economies. You, you have to always grow your fence. It's just like you need to become like a Hollywood superstar. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, I think it's, it's tough. Um, but I, I, I want to see all the projects and I, I want to see everyone can be succeed. 
because uh, we have to work together, help each other. That's the whole thing about. Um, I, I still feel uh, optimistic, especially uh, for creators and individual artists. So, so there's also, there's a several people say uh, YouTube, they're going to have a, uh, NFT late. Oh, right. Yeah, cool. But that's why I try to get into the space that uh, I start to uh, create a lot of video. Uh, yeah. And pretty exciting because uh, the, like I never really can get into Hollywood. Even I, I really love films. I love movies. Um, um, but I mean, it's just uh, it's, it's tough for, for any ordinary people to get into um become like something uh, people they they know who you are like if you, but these days like if you create vi videos or even just a short videos on TikTok uh you, you can become famous just in one day yeah. <laughs> it's like a, well i don't really you have to fall off of i'm not a TikTok person but i mean it's just a, like it give a lot of a people a lot of uh, new opportunities yeah yeah for sure <laughs> Um, so how do you want, uh, how, um, how do you want to promote your, 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 uh, how should I call it? film NFTs later on? Uh, I yeah, I mean, have a pre it's, prefer, uh, social media. Yeah. You, on my Instagram, I mean, you can go to, um, Mateo C Santoro. I just which, follow which, you. <laughs> okay. Yeah. And then, uh, sif.world is my website where you can check out of a lot of the SIF stuff in the NFT space. I haven't posted the new trailer on there yet. That's going to be coming out pretty soon. I'm going to wait till after the holidays to really drop that on, on people. But SIF.world is where you can see a lot of the, the links for everything. Um, Do you have the exact time that you're going to have the drop? Uh, it's it, I have to work. It's at the end of January. I'm working with uh, a, a, a space in downtown and we're going to lock the date in so i'll have a i'll have a better understanding probably within the next week but there's a i'm going to actually have a live event almost like a premiere in the arts district um and so but i just have to lock that date I in don't with them. To, uh, little tokyo yeah 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 oh yeah. Okay, okay i've been to that area yeah yeah so it's going to be down there we're going to have a like a warehouse with like you know projectors and everything and like a party kind of things so did, did you ever come to nft nyc or nft yeah yeah i was there i was there last year oh i was there i tried to interview uh to get the interview i think uh i i i think i dm you um and but oh maybe it was a messy. You, you. Know it was very. It was. It was yeah. chaotic last year. Was I a have lot a friend. Of it. She's a speaker, and she not even can get it. <laughs> yeah, it was pretty. It was pretty chaotic. It was. Uh, yeah, it was, it was. It was. It was a lot of people. <laughs> yeah, but I really like NFBLA. Even uh, it's it's really not that big. Um, but it's just uh, like the the vibe. Like, yeah, I mean, like I would rather not be big, but have you know a more exactly, condensed. Exactly. Yeah. Um, I, I went to uh, Steve Aoki's uh, party. It was like, wow. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I actually, I don't know if you remember, I had a lot of my work was there during that night. It was projection and it was, I had stuff on the inside on the, on the monitors. Uh, is that the one that he looks like a robot? Yeah, yeah. So exciting. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that was you. You you should mention Great Fire Chat that uh, is always, I feel, like always uh, exciting that when I talk to artists, so, so artists cannot be pessimistic. We, we need to have a good energy. And yeah, that's true. Have right. a poor well, energy. That's because we're, that's then, because we're emotional of, people. We're emotional people, you know? And, I, and uh, yeah. You know, like you, you got to be tapped into those emotions in order to create something that, that works so you can connect with people. And emotions, unfortunately, they, and fortunately, they go up and down. So yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It can be really up and down. Um, yeah. But uh, I feel like art healing. That's why I always uh, focus on my art. Not yeah, yeah. <laughs> it does. It does. It does heal. Well, yeah. keep keep going. Keep focusing. Exactly. 
Yeah, and congratulations. I'm really looking forward. And you can send me your trailer, and I'm going to send you that、uh, Steve Aoki surprise clip. <laughs>、uh, <laughs> I love that. I love you. So people. All right. Are- awesome. Cool. Yeah. Send it to me. Yeah.、Um, yeah. Thank you so much. And、uh, anything else you like to say about your project?、Um, Um, no, I mean just、uh, yeah, it's coming out in January.、Um, there's gonna be it's gonna be open editions. It's a, a really strong film narrative driven science fiction. If you're into science fiction, definitely check it out. And I'm also if you if you get in on this drop, I'm gonna have a contest and I'm gonna be giving away、uh, and you'll be entered into the contest and I'll be giving away、um, physical props from the movie. So for this one, you actually get. One of the、uh, electromagnetic blasters, which is just like this kind of cool sci-fi gun that that you can get from the the NFT. So there's physical、uh, utility in it.